Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazu and this is the third time I'm saying this, but it's cool. But welcome back to Q of 4 mode CLS 1 week 2. Right now we are in Greenwood. As the match between Throne and Nana is underway, as we had a disconnection issue earlier on just before it started, so it's cool. But once again from as we had Throne. a disconnection issue earlier on just before it started. Oops. Sorry. But Throne, Day Watser, Captain, Sniper, Park Nimue, Barbarian or PKM in short. We have hit Lash the Guardian, Control the Last Trial Wheels, the one that disconnected, and Shara Macy, the Gear Master. All these players are from Throne and from the Guild Throne as well. And they are playing against Nada. Captain, Kimi 12, Destroyer, Storm Wind Smasher, Nanasty, Tempest, Provoker, Guardian, and Kimi 10, the Gear Master. As right now, the teams are both loading. It's gonna be underway very, very soon. Do, 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 do. Yes, they are selecting the lineups again. We see Nanasty Tempest going up against Hit Lash Guardian and according to Lloyd or Sleepy, I think it's Lloyd, it said that Hit Lash is apparently extremely pro. You can see the Shinbreaker there on the entrance there, pretty well done against the Eagle Dive, baits the air pounce here, goes in with a nice shield charge. Oh boy, it's a spider attacks here. As you see a nice Holy Bolt to Justice Crash and a Jig Smite combo here. Nanasty the Tempest down to 70% HP as the game escalated extremely quickly here. The Spirit Boost is forced but used for him to run away, so Nanasty in trouble right now, which is supposed to be a very decent Tempest as well from, I believe, Team Narda. Oh, they're getting names wrong. See the Sons of Face Force, he's gonna be toggling it, hit Lash for you from Throne, indeed. Nanasty's Hurricane Dance cancelled there, or oh, couldn't quite connect as well. Look at that Shinbreaker on the Bunny Shot, and the Divine Vasa is used, gonna bait the skills here, gonna use his Justice Crash, Justice Crash, goodbye. Nasty. As he dash grabs one here, and I think Lloyd's well placed confidence on this player is well placed, definitely. He lash for you, you can see the ancient totem shield and the fill as well. As is one up for Team Throne at the moment. See Storm wins. Smasher this time going up against the Garden. This is definitely well used. You can't block games when your time stop here, but it's only depend on the 80 80 speed of Heat Lash. You can see a 9 time dodge into time stop stacking, I believe. Look at that, Void Blast into normal attack, into time stop here. The laser counter is out. Pushes his opponent back, it's lucky block here as the Divine Ascension counter on the Spirit Trim Shower is unfortunate for Stormers. Look at that, not even flinching at the electric smack there. Oh, that was like 10,000 damage down on the Inner Raid EX. Void Blast there, it was blocked. There's a slow buff there. That's caught by a Shinbreaker though, as he Lash heals back. Holy Bolt there, look at that, anticipative as Stormwind is forced to use his bling but gets out safely with his teleport here. As he Lash playing it safe, need to avoid time dodge as once again Stormwind's on the run right now. Dancing around, and this is what you call Force Mirror dancing for you. You can see he's very steady, avoids the Shinbreaker here. Using his reactive bling at the right time. Avoid the holy boat there, look, letting it skip past. Gets caught by electric smile, it's beyond time. Gets caught by a lightning zap as well. As my use, the zap. Gets caught by the holy relic, my goodness. He lashed for you, his teleport cancel. As right now, Stormwind's in trouble. The, the Shinbreaker entrance here is good. What's the time dodge on Stormwind? You can see the slow taking away the block counters here. See the poison taking away all the counters as well. Nine tails laser. Void Blast, and the time stop here, and so Laser Cutter, look at that, he's hitting on the wall so you'll explode to do a lot more damage! Oh, Storm wins for you. As Nana fights back one game, he's down to 44% HP nevertheless, and then he Lash does well to one player and half the HP of Storm wins. But the question is, will that be good enough? Well, we're going to be finding out very, very soon. So right now we see Stormwind's going up against Day Watzer, the sniper. This is definitely the counter play as Day Watzer, a very very good sniper here. With many recommendations to do a show match about him. Charge shot, oh Stormwind gets it. Goodbye. The force mirror is out on time here, you can see the anchor shot. Avoided, but teleport cancelled as you can see once again Day Watzer. Once the force mirror is exploded, 
Stormers is in trouble, he's waiting for that moment here, but you can see that cheating point used there, it's gonna explode and kill him if he comes in right now. But if he doesn't come in right now, next Shakaeros is gonna kill him, so what can Stormins do? You can't do anything, he's in trouble. Look at that, getting hit by Pix there, oh he's by his time for the next boss Mariah here, but you can see, the next pin shot's gonna take him away. Nine kills laser, anchor shot's going through, indeed it is, the picks from Day Watzer once again. Takes away, Storm wins the Smasher. Definitely very well done by this sniper here from Throne, as Throne is back one up once again. As you see, Kimi Ten, a gear master, counterplay against the sniper here, definitely. Ping pong, avoider. It's a little mecha dog chasing day once again. Anchor shot on a duck. Like, you stay there, you don't come near me. Let's cover that ping pong and a chin saw tower there, losing 20% HP immediately. The shooting point placed at the offensive position here. He gets caught by the ice farm tower. He runs back to the ice farm tower, gets caught by the mecha shot as well. Right now, Dave Watts is in trouble, but you can see that Kimi Ten is letting the minions do the job. He's like, no, it's okay, I'm not gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take my time to widow this player down. I'm gonna let my ducks take him away. Oh, definitely they watch there, unfortunately get caught by the ice bomb tower there. Look at that, firing a multi shot and the mecha dog in anger, even the tra even the tracking arrows here. It's like hey get out of my life. As the charge shot connects, as Kimi Ten takes some damage there, 67% HP right now. Alfredo transition damage up, it's good to see Kimi Ten playing to be more aggressive right now, but you can see the cheating point being used, the gravity grenade well placed, bits the triangle shot. Biochemical Missile avoided nicely by Dave Watson with the fixed shot, the charge shot continues, no it doesn't, it skips past Kimi Ten there, as the cheating point exploded, and error barge here, oh, Kimi Ten in trouble, getting caught here, down to 48% HP, but you can see what Dave Watson getting caught by the Ice Bomb Tower as well, he has lost, he's at 6% HP right now, even his triangle shot here, slowed down by the Ice Bomb Tower, as you see the ping pong flying past him, the ping pong, no that's the bubble bubble, he dodged it, that was a close one, as I got a little excited there. 6% HP, avoids the ping pong once again. You see Dave Watson fighting to the last minute here. Triangle shot used, it flinches. As right now, Kimi Ten takes more damage, and Tracking Arrows is used. Flying towards the Alfredo and the Ducks. Look at that, he's trying to find open space here, indeed he does. If we can see Kimi Ten. Oh, oh he almost got caught by the charge shot there. Triangle shot once again, taking more HP down. He's got caught by the biochemical missile, even with the fake shot there, unfortunately. As Kimi Ten took quite a lot of damage here. About 15% HP left at the moment. As right now, it's back to 3 3. Who's gonna be coming up next? We hit Park Nim with PKM, the Barbarian coming up straight away. It's gonna be crucial for him to take away the Gear Master ASAP, or he can play it safe. With the Cyclone X Iron Skin, usual. Base rocket jump here, you can go in safely now. You can see the Storm EX used well. Something how baited. Brand Swing Bombs here, or oh, he was just waiting for that moment for that Gravity Grenade. As Gravity Grenade takes some casting time here, or casting animation. He was waiting for it, and then the Ring Bombs, goodbye. Bombs away. As the Gear Master is taken away. As Throne right now, leading 3. To two, even having the Elastra here, and I believe the Gear Master as well. Let me check the lineup. Is it a Gear Master for Throne? Throne, indeed. Sharon Mace is a Gear Master. But right now, it's a mirror matchup here. Kimi 10 going up against, no, Kimi 12 this time going up against PKM. The Flying Swing here uses a nice counter on the dash blow. The, the, the Storm as well, as you can see, the Breaking Point activating. And so now PKM in trouble. Mr. Hall timing good against the dash low once again, and the relief timing here is bad for PKM. As the moment is out, the strat's gonna take it back here. The captain, Kimi Trail, fighting for his team at the moment. As PKM uses his dash kick, gets caught by the ring bombs here, as his empowering half was not cancelled. Was fortunate there, definitely. His own ring bombs catching Kimi there, as the second X here, oh he's in trouble, he doesn't have his iron skin up, it's gonna be taken away. Storm! And goodbye, as Kimi12 grabs one back for Tim Nada, the captain, doing his job, a fine job definitely.
because I believe the last round here, Control will be coming up right next. It's gonna be crucial for Control to take Kimi 12 away, but Kimi 12 definitely a very experienced destroyer. <laughs> Needs to avoid, avoid the freezing swords. Gonna see him use the flying sword, I mean the flying swing, to avoid, avoid the freezing swords at the start. Flame Spark! Indeed, we see the flying swing used, seen that used by a lot of players. Big attack timing here is good, but the Mistrum how on the blink in. Oh my goodness, the circle swing connection as well. As the woman is out, he needs to get a lucky breaking point here. He bases the area region here as Kimi Chow backs out wisely. He's gonna play it safe, not to lose much HP here. As you can see, control spamming skills at the moment. Killing Mist used defensively. The Ice Spear used defensively as well, as Kimi Chow is gonna use his Empowering Howl very soon. The next Raising Swords! No nope, Empowering Howl, or it's not cancelled here, as the woman is gonna come out very, very soon. Gets a nice Glacier Wave. Forces the relief as the Cyclone X is out right now. We can see the Ice Cage there used very well by Control to cancel the Cyclone X. But is it good enough as the rolling attack here continues to grab the urgency trick? Oh, but 11,000 freezing fuel there, capturing Kimi 12, the Shatter. Oh, it doesn't cancel it as Control is down to 30% HP. It's gonna be close as Kimi 12 is down to 46% HP. But Control needs to win this by a larger margin at the moment, but Kimi 12, 45% HP, buying time. So I think Control might just have disconnected. No, he doesn't, he's back. I think he had a Windows error there. This Glacier Wave on the Iron Skin is doing well. Freezing Swords gets Storm, based urgency trick. His Ice Base used, gets cancelled by a breaking point there from Kimi 12. As Kimi 12, and then two winning streaks there. As right now, Nada in a very strong position to take it all for game one. As the Gear Master, Shara Macy. Can he pull off an XQT here? We will find out very soon. The Gear Master fight. Base rocket jump here. Punishing swing flinch. Avoids the storm wisely. But the gravity grenade cancel. Shara Macy in trouble right now. Getting caught. Area Vision baited. The rolling attack into a whirlwind. Nope, no strong how first. Game 1 is definitely going to Narada here. With Kimi Tov in the 3 winning streak. Well done by this player, definitely. As we go into game 2. As one player has disconnected once again. It's PKM that has, dis that has disconnected here. Then I'll be stopping the stream here in case it goes out of 30 minutes and I won't be able to transfer it. So for those cast for those people viewing, yep. Game 2 will be up and the stream will be up as well. So thanks for watching so far. See you guys.